Newly released Thank video you. shows the end of a teenage stowaway's trip across the Pacific. The jet took off from California and landed in Hawaii last month. The boy hit in a wheel well under death-defying conditions. Jeff Pugues is in Washington with the evidence that's silencing skeptics. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. The teenager is now back in California, and the San Jose Police Department is hoping to interview him later today. A key part of this security breach investigation is newly released video. This airport security video released Tuesday shows the 15-year-old stowaway Yahya Abdi emerging from the plane's wheel well. He drops to the tarmac and immediately collapses. He then gets back up, stumbles toward the front of the aircraft, and is eventually spotted by a ramp agent. The immigrant teenager miraculously survived a five-and-a-half-hour flight from California to Hawaii despite traveling at 35,000 feet in sub-freezing temperatures and without oxygen. The feat was so remarkable, some aviation experts were skeptical that he had actually been in the wheel well. This is the missing ingredient because this makes uh, the story believable is watching him walk after he got out of that wheel well. Family friends say Abdi was unhappy in the United States and was trying to visit his mother, who lives at a refugee camp in Ethiopia. <laughs> she claims her son was angry at his father and says her ex-husband cut her off from her children when he brought them to California. But in an exclusive interview with CBS station KPIX, Abdi's brother and sister disputed their mother's claims. Your mom said your dad told you guys that she was killed in a rocket attack in Mogadishu. No. No, that's just lying. Yeah, she's lying. They say their mother left them when they were young and is now trying to reunite only to get out of the refugee camp. We love her, but she left us when we need her the most, so we don't want her. Yaya Abdi flew back to California over the weekend and is currently in the custody of the Santa Clara County Department of Family and Children's Services. The San Jose police hope to interview him as early as today. Our hope is that we can find out all the intimate details um, uh, about you know, how he went about getting onto the tarmac, um, what his mental thoughts were. In the meantime, Abdi's family is still waiting for him to come home. We love him and we miss him so much. The San Jose Police Department says once its investigation is concluded, it will consult with the DA's office to determine if criminal trespassing charges will be filed against the teenager. Nora? All right, Jeff, thank you.